Now, the franchise timeline history of the St. Louis Cardinals in 1892, the American Association, voted as the conclusion of 1891 in the St. Louis. Uh, Browns rejoined the National League as part of the newly returned 12-team circuit. The Browns played the sport at, in Sportsman Park at Grand and Dodier, the St. Louis franchise has had the continuous membership of the National League ever since. Now, 1893, um, 1893, then 1898, 1899, 1900s. Uh, the team officially changed its name from the Perfectos to the Cardinals in 1902. An American League team came to St. Louis taking up the old Browns team name, and since then, they moved into the original Grand Avenue Ballpark. They readily took the old Sportsman Park name. In the 1910s, you had 1911, 1914, 1916, 1917, the 1920s, um, 1922, Roger Hornsby won the Triple Crown with 42 home runs, 152 RBIs, and a 401 batting average. <coughs> 1924, Hornsby again, 1925, Hornsby won his second Triple Crown. 1926 was the first World Series appearance of Cardinals led. By player manager Hornsby etched the Yankees in the seven games. The team led the National League in eight offensive categories on 1928, the 1930s, 1937, the 1940s, and 1944. The St. Louis Cardinals failed the St. Louis Brown and the Crosstown Champions. Only World Series appearance in this only all St. Louis World Series pitching dominated as the Cardinals defeated the Browns in four games to strike out six series record 92 batters, 49 Cardinal pitchers, and 43 Browns hurlers. Emo Verdon top Cardinal hitters with a 412 average. The series was dubbed the streetcar series as many fans used that mode to travel to and from the ballpark. Then you got 1946, 1947, 1948. Through the 1950s, the Cardinals played the first night opener in St. Louis, 1952, 1953, 1954, 1959, 1958, 1960s. Uh, the Cardinals won the, their first National League pennant in 18 years, defeated the New York Yankees in four games to win the World Series. Uh, Bob Gibson won two games. Ken Boyer hit a grand slam to win the fourth game to McCarver. Carver, who batted in a series high for 78, smash a 10th inning home run to win the fifth game, and Ron Taylor and Ron Jer Craig combined the nine for nine two scoreless inning over late 1966, 67, and 68. The Cardinals was in the World Series. 1970s brought no World Series from Celia in 1971, 1974, was when Little Brock stole 118 uh, brace, bases and got his 3,000th hit. 1976, John Denny wins the National League ERA title at age 23. 1977, 1978, Bob Porsche, uh, no hit the Phillies on April 16th at Bush Stadium. Uh, manager Vernon Rep dismissed on April 24th. 1979, then the 1980s, we had Kid Reed sets the new fielding record for the National League third baseman by committing only eight errors day. Long has seven RBIs, August 28th, versus Atlanta and Whitley. Whitey Herzog becomes Cardinal Manager on June 9th, August 18th. John Claremont fired as General Manager. Herzog named General Manager on August 29th. Red Sanding served as Interim Manager for Balance of Season. On October 24th, Herzog assumed dual role of General Manager and Field Manager. 1981, 1982, the Cardinals won the World Series. <coughs> on. 1983, Ninety-nine in the two thousands, two thousand and one, two thousand and four, two thousand and five, two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, 
2010s. In 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 2020, 2020, 2021, and currently 2022. Now the last time the Cardinals won the World Series was in 2000. The Cardinals lost three games, players, in 2000. Okay. 2011 year Luke Dominus from the very start turned out to be a memorable and historic one of the same for the 2011 Cardinals spring during the month of season ending injury for Ann, Adam Wainwright and the end of the fruitless contract talks about Albert's Pujols. And the Cardinals closed it out in Game 7 as a franchise fifth 11th World Championship. Now, outside uh, St. Louis Bush Stadium, the new Bush Stadium, said some of the greatest players and statues of all time. Stan Musial has two statues. Uh, one was from the original Bush Stadium. He had, you got from Enos Slaughter, Roger Hornsby. Lou Brock, Bob Gibson, Ted Simmons. Are just a few of the greatest players of all time in Cardinals history. Then also on the outside, you have some of the fans that's donated over the years to the uh, stadium and also a lot of memories from the franchise histories. Some of the most memorable moments cemented on the walk outside of Bush, the new Bush Stadium. And then you also have 